Welcome to the station crew. Enjoy your stay. A salvage specialist is tasked in Space Station 14 with keeping funds flowing for cargo by salvaging wreckages and also just finding materials to start. You need to play cargo tech for exactly one hour to unlock the salvage tech. And due to that, I'm not going to cover anything cargo related. And I'm not going to cover basic controls because I'm assuming you probably figured it out by now. The salvage specialist starts off with no special tools. But some maps like this one will provide things like the LV co cable coil, which can be useful. to Bring some of those with you. And the salvage vendor has some pretty useful stuff that is good for your kit. So your locker will have things like the Explorer gas mask. And trust me, you want to wear this one over anything else just to start. Because the Explorer Gas Mask actually gives you damage reduction, which you're going to be doing combat on these salvage wreckages. It also gives you the thing called a Protokinetic Accelerator. It is essentially an infinite ammo, but low damage uh, firearm. It also does not have much range, so don't be expecting to kill actual players with it or anything like that. You're going to want mag boots because there's no gravity in space. You're going to want your survival knife because, once again, you do combat out there, and a survival knife has a really fast attack speed. You also get an extra utility belt, and you're going to want to take your spatial knot suit because you're, again, going into space, and grab your respective um, oxygen or nitrogen, depending on your race. I'm a lizard. So you're going to start breathing because you're going to be spending a lot of time, once again, in space. Another thing to keep in mind is that a lot of salvages actually have mineables on them. And what a mineable is is simply... I also like to bring the pens because you never know if your friends are going to get downed out there or like somebody gets spaced by accident. It's just good etiquette to bring it. But anyway, you can mine and then you bring the ores back here. And something you can do, there's the ore bag. And you could forego bringing tools, but you should always have a crowbar. And you could instead put the ore bag on your uh, belt slot instead. But it's up to you, like whatever type of salvage player you want to be. You could be a miner, you could just be somebody who's better at ripping apart actual walls and so on and so forth. So, how do we actually go about starting our job? Well, one thing you have to be very cautious of, and this map doesn't have as big of an issue with it, but some maps you are direct connected into cargo directly, and you can space them. Do not kill the people without EVA suits. Always close airlocks behind you. Remember, you can open airlocks with E. So, now the room's pressurized. Remember, it's an airlock. You don't want both doors open at the same time. It is super, super common that cargo techs will end up killing somebody. Or salvage... I keep calling them cargo techs. Oh, <laughs> I'm so sorry, Algernon. But it is super, super common that salvage uh, specialists will kill cargo techs by not paying attention. Anyway, to actually start the job, it's really quick. In this station, you have to walk barely a screen away. Oh, I didn't save it. I tried. Okay. So... This thing is called the salvage magnet. It is real simple. To start salvaging, you just left click it. In your chat bar, you'll have a message saying the salvage magnet is pulling in a piece of debris. It takes a little bit of time, and the magnet has all these fancy animations for it, blinking, letting you know it's trying to search for something. And once it does eventually show up, I will show how to find it. And it's just with this fancy thing. Okay, piece of salvage of debris is found. And if we base it off this location, you can see it's the unknown. No, I don't care about the gas leak. Well, ignore these other two unknowns. They are far away and not part of it. It is always going to be the one that's close, and make sure you're not mistaken the shuttle, but the shuttle will be named. So it is 26 meters this way. Also, remember, your space knot armor has a light on it. So, according to the mass scanner, it's very close to the station. So, you could just hug the outer edge here to be careful. And I can see it right there. This one is very close. We used the Space Lizard plushie to get me there. So, a common strategy for salvage is you want to propel yourself. So remember, Control Q is the default throw. So if I want to get over here quicker, I could just do this and throw it that way. And make sure you turn your mag boots off. But I managed to hit something. Or make sure you turn your mag boots on. Because if I didn't turn my mag boots on and there wasn't anything to stop me, I would have flew all the way into space. So now there's some basic stuff here and oh there's a locked uh, <laughs> locked locker so basically you just want to look through everything that looks kinda cool like a box of crayons and what I like to do and most people like to do basically just take everything put it into one container like so and I mean everything 
and close it up and now you can see everything that was loose loot basically is now in one container and things like this don't worry about breaking these open you can heavy attack them to do more damage to the locked lockers there's nothing in here that's going to be contraband well <laughs> funnily enough that's somewhat contraband but now it's just extra things to sell you could go give it the botany throw it in there and now everything that was on this salvage that's an item is in there you can also be more thorough and like you can use screwdrivers and take apart the boxes and you can do it rapidly like so and then you could take the steel pile that all up and throw it in there too it doesn't take you much extra time but it does give you some more supplies and now everything that we want is in there also things like uh water vapor and stuff cargo can also still sell um just to, for the sake of not going back inside. You could grab an appraisal tool. So, like, that's $1,200. That is worth bringing back. And even an oxygen canister is also $1,200. That is nothing to sneeze at, because everything in here is $2,000. So, these two items combined are actually worth more than that. Bringing an appraisal tool can be really helpful for figuring out the prices of things without just knowing what they are. But now we have to figure out how to get it back. Well... The fire extinguisher is basically just scuffed jetpack. So you press it, you can take the safety off and make sure you're not in harm. So then you grab the locker and then you run off the grid and pull it with you. And you just blow in the opposite direction. And you get the picture. You just bring the locker back. And I can go back, grab another canister, make sure the mag boots are still on. So when you get there, you get full movement. Grab that. It's not that heavy. Same thing. You could also do like advanced things like flinging it like I'm doing. And you could also, just to show you all the techniques, since there's no gravity on here, you can do the fling, where if you just snap the physics, you can bring yourself with it, or you can throw it individually. There's some more advanced tricks you can do. I will do another salvage to show the combat aspect and how to deal with that, because this was a small salvage. And salvage is currently being reworked. And also, in 30 seconds, the salvage will completely disappear. Everything on it will disappear. If there was mobs, the mobs would also disappear. And as a fair warning, if there was any dead bodies, like one of your salvage members falls, and they are left on that salvage, they will despawn. If you do not recover their body before that salvage disappears, they are gone forever. So now you have to wait... Or the salvage magnet to cool back up. If you try it, it'll say the salvage magnet's cooling down. So you just wait for that red light to go away. And you can see it charge up with the green lights. And when it comes back, I will see if it's a big salvage. Or at least one that has mobs. And this is actually a wreckage with combat. And it's actually dangerous. More dangerous mobs than normal. Don't be afraid of spacing any of this. So when I open this, you won't even have access. So this is where you want tools. And I'm going to end up blinding myself. But to the right here, for example, like I, the, the, the salvages aren't random as of right now. So like if you get used to the certain wreckages, you can get very proficient at completing them. So for this one, since you have the protokinetic accelerator, it's real easy. You can just shoot over the counter until they're dead. These enemies are quite tanky. And remember, time is of the essence, and there are a lot of enemies in this one. Notice how the bear's still alive. Remember, you always have a knife. And now it is dead. Just really quickly, I'm going to also explain how the ore machine works. So, I mind a stack of gold ore off camera. For sure, I definitely mind it. And all you do is you take your ore, and you put it in the processor. And to get anything usable out of it, you, for example, for gold bars, you just turn them into gold bars. But for steel and stuff, it comes out in stacks. So, like, to make one gold bar, it's taking 500 centimeters of uh, material to do so. So, really what that means is that, like, a stack of gold ore is a stack of gold bars. And the machine's somewhat slow. It can be... You could get science to upgrade it, but it's definitely not a priority machine upgrade. But anyway, yeah, you just take the ore, convert it into material, into usable material, because ore doesn't do anything else otherwise. Um, one other note is, if you ever find an alien artifact... Uh, science will definitely want those, but you're going to want to put it in a container box. So you're going to have to talk to Cargo about that, but you can figure all that out in game. 
uh, this is basically just a basic introduction. Hope you learned something. And that's it for now.